Well, I'm here today with uh, Jordan Urbach, who just won the World of Children Award last week, and now he is here in Washington, D.C. to speak at TEDx YSC, which is TEDx Youth Social Entre Entrepreneurship. Uh, so good morning. Good hey, to have you here. how you doing, Justin? All right, so um, what are you trying to deliver today? You know, TEDx is all about stories that are worth sharing, so I'm sharing uh, what I think is a story worth sharing, which is how I built my organization, Children Helping Children, from the ground up. I take people through a virtual tour of uh, one of my early visits to the pediatric wards doing music therapy uh, for the kids in Beth Israel North in New York, all the way through um, the development into a fundraising organization and my new efforts with the International Coalition of College Philanthropists. Okay. And what message would you like to get across? What is the single most important message? My, my message is that all of us have talents and we have a duty to use those talents, as I say in the talk, to further the global evolution of healthcare and to use those talents for the good of social action. Don't let those lie fallow. Don't just use them for your professional career. You know, put them to good use in you know, all of these social theaters that are wide open and ready for change. Now, you started putting music to good use, as you say, uh, since you were uh, seven. That's right. Uh, and now you're 18, so it's been 11 years. Yes. Uh, what has been the biggest surprise for you? The biggest surprise has been exactly how effective music is at bringing people together, at healing sick people, and at raising money so that more sick people can be healed. It's really this two-pronged approach. We have the direct action. I mean, Children Helping Children uses concerts to fund many programs, including the largest music therapy program in America at Mott Children's Hospital in the University of Michigan, which uh, serves 5,000 inpatients a year. But with that music therapy program, we provide this kind of direct in interaction between the musician and the patient, and, you know, it, it Empirical studies have just shown recovery times drop, pain levels drop. It's unbelievable exactly how effective music is in both of those arenas, and that's what shocked me. Now, you're turning your attention to peace as well, yes. and the role of music and peace. What do you think is the linkage or the role that music can play? That's a complicated question. Again, I think music works on two fronts there. There's the very groundswell based approach that's employed by really successful organizations like you know, Seeds of Peace, where you get people together and you combine political discussion with some kind of communal activity like music making to draw them together, but to also show them that this is real, that you know what they have experienced isn't just based on this temporal enjoyment of each other's company, that there is you know something true behind it. There's also the approach of getting musicians together from um, so-called warring nations, I mean, North Korea, South Korea, Palestine, Israel, India, Pakistan, you know, early conflict regions like Haiti and the Dominican Republic, you can get these musicians together, have them play together with some kind of international arbitrator, and then publicize it well. And that's what I do with my work with the United Nations Arts for Peace program. What we do is we bring people together, either virtually, if they can't meet in real life, such as often happens between North and South Korea, or physically, and they play together, and these concerts are publicized on the global stage provided by the United Nations. And it just shows people that we have this commonality. We can celebrate our shared beauty and put politics and bigotry behind us. Okay. And I often say that, um, you know, action leads to passion, not the other way around. Exactly. And in the, all the years you've been doing this, have you grown more passionate about a certain cause? There is no doubt. Uh, I mean, when I began this, I was passionate enough, but it was more a curiosity. Now I know that I have to devote my life to the multifarious uses of music, be it the peace process, be it health care, be it anything that music can make a significant impact in, because that is the talent that I have. And what I urge other people to do is take their talents, evaluate how they can be used, seek support if they need it, but go out there and do something. And lastly, have you thought about what, what you would like to accomplish in five years or ten years with your work in philanthropy? I, I really think that the only purpose of setting a goal is to limit exactly what you can accomplish, so I don't have a goal five or ten years out. I want to devote myself wholly and uh, inspire as many people around myself to devote themselves wholly, maximize my power, and just go forth and do with our talents exactly what we can do to make this world a better place to live in. Okay, and one final question, which is, uh, 
a lot of your fans found out that you're speaking here and and they've been posting comments on the website. Um, what would you like to say to your fans which who are I, dispersed all over the know, world? I didn't, I didn't know I had fans. So thank you for being fans. And I give you the same message I give to everyone else. Thank you for supporting me. I hope that I've inspired in some small way you or people around you to get out there and take your talents and do something truly important with them. That'd make me happy.